Hi guys, I'm Kim and today I'm going to bring you the booktube newbie tag. First of all, I know my background is pretty boring today, but this is way easier for me to film than in front of my bookshelves and I don't think my bookshelves are that interesting anyways. But if you're really bothered by the blank background and you want the bookshelves back, please let me know, then I'll just change my filming setup again. I wasn't tagged to do this tag by anyone because I'm really really new and I don't know anybody yet so I just decided to do it. Also there are two versions of this tag floating around. Um, I chose this one because I like the questions better and I did not link the creator in the down bar because I could not find it. I found a video um, of this tag and she linked to the creator but the link was dead so I'm not sure if you know who created this tag please let me know then I'll link them in the down bar. Also I tag anyone who wants to do this tag and hasn't been tagged yet so just go ahead and do it. So the first question is why did you start booktube? And for me the answer is probably pretty similar to most of the people who do this tag and it's because I want to connect to other people who love books as much as I do and to get to know other people whom I can talk to about the books I read and yeah just connect to other people as I said. As you may know if you have watched one of my very first videos for the past like five years I haven't read any books. I only read fan fiction and I only started getting back into books during um, the end of last year and this was because of booktube so I kind of really wanted to start my own channel and just get out there and talk to you guys. The second question is why do you love reading and this for me is a question I can't answer. I've always loved reading and I can't tell you why, I just love it. It's one of my favorite pastimes and I'm sure there are so many benefits but if I start taking off the benefits of reading we'll be here forever and you all know this and it's not honestly why I love reading because I just love reading just because. So yeah let's just this question. <laughs> Next one is what book got you into reading and um, again this is a little bit of a tough question for me because I've been reading for as long as I can rem remember and I honestly do not know which book got me into reading. Probably some picture book, I don't know. But when I thought about this question two books came to mind and the first one was Inkart by Cornelia Funk and um, Water Mirror by Kai Meyer. Both of those are German books and um, Water Mirror, so this is the German um, edition obviously because back then I did read in German and um, the German edition was first released in 2001 and for Inkart the first release was in 2003. Now thinking about this I was 10 and 12 years old respectively when they rele were released and this was around the same time that Harry Potter started coming into my life and um, I know that by the time Harry Potter started for me I've, I had already been reading for quite a while so neither of those books aren't a book that got me into reading but they are just the first books I remember. The next question is what is your favorite book and for me this has been for a very long time pretty much since it was published Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This may change now that I'm back into reading and discover new worlds, new books, new series, new authors, but I don't think but I don't think this can ever be replaced in my heart. I can't exactly tell you why this is my favorite book and uh, my favorite book in the series as well because I'm not really a fan of teenage angst. I hate Umbridge. I love series, so there isn't really a reason why I should like this book and thinking about it objectively I totally believe this book could have just been skipped altogether. Like Nothing bad would have, would have happened if there never was a Madame Umbridge and if Sirius was still alive we all would be happy but still this is my favorite book. I don't know why it just is. Then what genres do you read and as I said for me I've been pretty much only been reading fan fiction for a long time. Before that I've been mainly reading histori historical fiction as well as thrillers and, and now that I'm back into reading I still enjoy those two genres. When it comes to thriller I especially enjoy everything that's got to do with like military, espionage, war and politics like Tom Clancy for example. I've mentioned him in a couple of my videos 
and um, I also but I've also been getting um, into YA a lot so I also enjoy reading YA especially fantasy and I'm also looking forward to reading more sci-fi and dystopian I'm not really interested in YA contemporary books I'm sure I will read some at some point and maybe my opinion will change who knows but right now when it comes to YA I'm pretty much only interested in fantasy as well as sci-fi and dystopian and when, and when it comes to adult novels it's historical fiction or thrillers. Then as for my favorite author, obviously JK is my queen, she's my hero, she's everything, but I thought long and hard who else, if JK didn't exist, if Harry Potter didn't exist, whom would I pick? Because if you have a list of questions with all my favorite book characters, book scenes, books, authors, everything to do with books, pretty much every question could be answered with something to do with Harry Potter. So I'm trying to stay away from Harry Potter and do something else. Let's just put a disclaimer to all my videos, loves Harry Potter above all else and then we can get on, on to more exciting stuff. So, so for me right now I would say my favorite author is Sarah J Maas. I just finished Empire of Storms and I love the whole series. I can't wait to start with A Court of Thorns and Roses and I absolutely cannot wait for September to roll around so I can read the last book in the Throne of Glass series and I, I just love the world. I love her writing style, I love her characters, she's just amazing. So the next question is what are you currently reading? And for me this is a couple of books. Although I've never been a fan of reading multiple books at once. Then why do I have so many books on my currently reading shelf at Goodreads, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. I always have three books that I'm currently reading. One is an audiobook, one on my Kindle, which is my main book, and one on my phone. I have a book on my phone because there are some situations where it is either not feasible or it is not really acceptable to pull out my Kindle and in these situations I can just read on my phone. For me those three books at the moment are Hollow City by Ransom Riggs which is the second book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series which I'm listening to on audio. As for my main book right now it's a German book, it's a historical fiction and it is Die Rote Löwen by Thomas Zibula. The my phone book is Quests for the Kings by Robert Everett. Both of those two books that I'm actually reading are from NetGalley. Currently I'm also reading a fourth book which is The Wrath and the Dawn by René Allier. Um, this book is one of the first books in a very long time that I got as a physical copy and right now I'm on vacation or I'm not on vacation I'm at home but I'm on leave from work for a week so I'm going to read this one at home. I don't really like bringing physical books with me because having my Kindle is just much more comfortable but I still love reading physical books and so I'm reading this one as well. The next question is an either or question or more like three either or questions. First one is hardcover or paperback and I honestly don't have a preference when it comes to that. As I do not carry my books around, weight doesn't matter and I would just choose based on the price or the cover if there are different covers. The second one is ebook or physical book and obviously for me this is ebook just for comfort. I still love physical books and I love having them on my bookshelf and reading them but even here at home it's so much easier to have my Kindle than to have an actual physical book. I will still continue buying physical books or more important or more accurately I will start buying physical books again because I really like them but mainly I read ebooks. The last one is own or borrow. So for me I'm kind of a collector and I like to own things so if I like something I like to buy everything that's got to do with it and it's the same with books. I just love having the books in my bookshelf or if when it comes to ebooks have them like organized in all the photos on my computer so I definitely say own but if I had to choose like for the rest of my life either own books or borrow books it definitely be borrow books because I just can't buy that many books so I also read more borrowed books than I read old books at the moment 
because I don't own that many books and I'm not and I'm a little tight on money right now so I can't just buy whatever I want so I definitely borrow a lot of books but if I could really choose then it obviously be own. The last question for this tag is what fun and unique things do you bring to booktube and to be honest none. I don't think there's anything unique out there anymore except maybe my tastes and my personality. So obviously my personality is my own. You won't find anyone else out there who has the same personality as me and maybe you like my personality, then you're right here. Maybe you don't like my personality, then you better go watch someone else. But other than that and my tastes in books and authors and whatever, there isn't really thing anything there isn't really anything unique I can bring to the community. And I don't think this is a bad thing because, as I said, I don't think anyone can bring anything unique anymore. Like, everything's already been done, not just in booktube, but in general, like, what else is there? I don't have any special talents, so, yeah, I bring me. And that's all you're gonna get. So I hope you liked this tag. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments your answers to the questions or just, I don't know, get in touch with me. Let's connect and talk about books. Bye!